Hey, how are you? Very well. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, well, congratulations on season three. The second episode just aired. And before we even get into the craziness that is season three, I kind of want to talk to you about a look back on the last two and two epi- two seasons and two episodes. I mean, Ty has had such a growth, such a growth since we first met him in that season premiere. So how has that been for you as an actor to just not only watch that growth, but be a part of that growth. Yeah, it's been a joy. It's the it's the real reason to to take a job like this because you know when you have so many things stacked against you right at the beginning, um, it's just honestly the most fun for an actor to be able to pick apart. Like he's got this this terminal illness. He wants to commit suicide. He's lost all purpose, and so to find that in the course of the first two seasons and like you say two episodes, um, and now be almost a completely different character is the the best reason I think to take a role to see you know all the challenges of of that of what that entails but also just the different aspects of a person you get to play you get to really peel back the layers of a, of a, of a character and I feel like myself also David Applebaum the show's creator and showrunner and and the incredible writers have really collaborated on on bringing Ty to screen and in, in that way and and that's been a really enjoyable and fulfilling part of the job. And did you ever think when you were reading, you know, any of the scenes in season one, that this is where he would end up? I I didn't, I didn't know that early on, actually. But what I did know, because we had so much time during the pandemic to really dig into who Ty was, you know, there are questions that you ask about why he wants to commit suicide, about how he's found himself in this position, about, you know, what he felt um, when he got that diagnosis and, you know, how he treated the people around him at the time. So all those questions were just swirling around in the beginning for me and for, for you know, the show's writers and the creator. And we got to really delve into to, to why. And actually, uniquely, because of the time travel aspect of the show, we now mm-hmm. get to see in this next episode some of what Ty was dealing with before he fell in the sinkhole. Um, and that's, uh, you know, how how great is that? You don't get that opportunity very often to to see a character from that many different aspects and angles. And I think that brings up a great, um, you know, talking point of, you know, you have this second season finale and, you know, Ty's getting married and there's all these great things happening. And then, you know, circa two episodes later, he's in back in 2021. I mean, is that, when did you find out that was his, his path? Was that all of a sudden he's like back in 2021? <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, I knew about that that storyline pretty early. Like, we were filming season two, and I'd shared some thoughts and ideas with David Applebaum, the show's creator, about what that world might have looked like for Ty. Um, and and then David shared some ideas with me and thoughts. And, and it was just useful backstory, you know, at the time and background things that sort of slightly worked their way in during season two. Uh, and now we get to see it in real life. So it's it's... Honestly, that's just such a unique thing to be able to do. Mm-hmm. I, I part, you know, the backstory stuff is is how you really build a real person on screen and um, you know, a real living person who's not just existing in the moments that you exist in. Because, you know, us talking right now, we've got all all sorts of things that are going into why we say the things we say. And um psychologically, understanding what makes a person a person, that's the real gift of being an actor. So um yeah, the the the, the ability now to sort of see some of that work come to fruition is a, a real joy. And it's been it's been one of the best parts of the job for me. And I was going to say, how's that been for you? Because not only, you know, are you did you get to act alongside your fellow actors back in 10,000 BC, but now you're back in 2021, you're acting alongside them. And they're, you know, obviously with the acting, you know, they have no idea what's coming up. So how's that been for you? Yeah. Oh, it was fun, especially working with John Sader, who plays Sam, because, you know, this, I'm a complete stranger to him. Ty is a complete stranger. And and it means that there is different challenges. I've worked with John very closely over the course of these three or four years. And it's a new way of working with the same person, which is great. You know, he, and he just jumps straight in and is always such an incredible scene partner. So as we found out in episode two uh, last week, he's he doesn't buy what, what Ty is putting down straight away. But I think there's some bond that he can feel maybe. I don't know what what it is that that, that makes him come around. But it was really, really nice to feel those those barriers. You know, Ty's coming up against these blocks and he gets to break through a couple of them in, in that in that time period. So yeah, it was fun. 
And how's it been for for you? And like you said, working with with John and um and obviously he's not the only one you're going to be coming across. Uh, Ty comes across. But how's it been for you guys to kind of play that little bit of a stranger? Like you said, you built this connection over three seasons, and now you have to kind of go back and be like, well, we're strangers. So how's that been yeah. for you? <laughs> oh, it was fun. It was great because you know we're, we're both coming in from different angles. John Sam doesn't know Ty at all. Ty knows so much about Sam and. And you know, Sam saved Ty's life in in a lot of ways, along with Eve. And so, it's it's it means that we have to. And, we, and he, like I say, John's such a great scene partner. There were some takes where we would he would be really sort of angry and about it, and and so it meant that I constantly had different obstacles to overcome. And that's that's the whole point of doing this. And it's the it's the, th the thing that I really love the most. So it was yeah, just just a, it was a great storyline, and I, I'm really glad that viewers get to see this sort of alternate world as well in 2021 and what might have been for these characters and where they were before they fell in the sinkhole. It just adds to the universe of the show. Well, I think that and also because we're seeing this 10 days before things happen, Ty has a very big weight now on his shoulders because he, he can pre potentially prevent what's going to happen. So mm. I think the, the question is, is like, it's essentially like, you know, I, I gotta wonder why Ty? Why was it Ty that is now put with this responsibility? Yeah, but well, because he was the one who was just happened to be stood in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Got sucked into an aurora. Never stand <laughs> too close to an aurora, people. It's it doesn't lead to good places sometimes. But I think it's so interesting because, like you said, you know, kind of going back to my first question, he, you know, has this terminal illness. He goes into season, you know, season one, just kind of like, you know, contemplating suicide. You know, he's you know, separated from his wife. He has all of these just negative things. And then all of a sudden finds his, this purpose again to live and to, to do all these things. And then all of a sudden it's like, nope, now you're, now you're back <laughs> in 2021 with even bigger purpose. Do you think that may be the reason why, like it was besides Ty standing way too close to an aura? Yeah. It, it's, aura. it's one of those dramatic, great dramatic devices, isn't it? That the person who sort of has the most complicated journey between the two time periods is the person who now finds himself there. He was also, you know, a, a perfect person to put in that space because that purpose that you speak of that he now has found is about this community, is about this group of people and he wants to support them. He wants to make sure that he can help them to get back to where they rightfully belong. Um, added to that, he belongs back in 10,000 BC, he feels. So it's a, a great sort of dramatic tension that's at play in this third season. Um, and, you know, as as well as the the big big storyline, this ticking time clock of the sinkhole about to open in ten days, as you say, Ty also has some really big regrets from his past that he takes some time to see if he can write. But it's a really difficult thing to to alter the past without you know dismantling time itself. So he finds himself in a very tricky position. Um, but this next episode, season, episode three of season three. I'm really excited for viewers to see it because Ty gets to really delve into parts of his life. And, and, you know, we all ask the question of what would I, what might I do differently if I got a second chance and, and Ty actually gets that second chance. So it's, it's nice to be able to play those moments. And for my final question, what can you tease about the rest of the season? Definitely more and bigger and more dangerous creatures. That's for, <laughs> for certain. Um, maybe not everyone makes it to the end, sadly, when there are that many dangerous animals around um, and th that many sort of dangerous things around the period. So um, I think those are the, the, the main things. The things that I was most excited about when I was reading the script was the fact that when you, you know, these guys, these, these characters are under so much pressure, but then the pressure just ramps up more and more and more. So we'll, we'll, we definitely have some exciting things coming for people. I can't wait for people to see it. Well, thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to speak with me. And I'm I'm very excited for the rest of the season. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for watching and for everything you do for us as well. So thank you.